Hello, my name is Gendo and this is a quick video to show you how to play mods on Minecraft using the Twitch app. First of all, you've got to install the Twitch app. If you uh, do a Google search for Twitch app, and the first hit you'll get is the download section. And uh, here you go, you've got different downloads for Twitch. I want download for Windows, so click there and give you a choice, you want to save the file. Now uh, my downloads accessed from here. Uh, if you're using a different browser, they might be in a different position. And if you're really having trouble trying to find where they are, you can always uh, type in download in the bottom there. And that will open up, and there's my downloads there. Okay, so if I double click that and then click run and install Twitch. It'll take a sec. Right, this would be the page you get. You have two choices here log in or sign up. Obviously, if you've already got a Twitch account, just log in with your username and password. Uh, if you haven't, then you want to sign up. That's pretty simple. Put your username in, password, date of birth, and an email, and that will sign you up. And uh, once you've done that, you can log into the Twitch app. Right. Once you've got your Twitch app up, and along the top there, you want to click Mods. And then uh, the first game that shows up will be should be Minecraft. So click that again. And this gives you a list of all the mods you've already got installed. Obviously, if you're doing this for the first time, you'll need to install a mod. I'm playing Project Ozone 3 at the moment. So uh, we'll browse for a different mod. Um, what about Project Ozone Lite? Okay. So uh, click install and that will uh, start installing the mod pack for you. It takes a little while to download so we're, we're jump cut. Okay, Project Ozone Lite has installed. Now you can click play and that will launch your Minecraft launcher and uh, you see there you can click play or if you click there you can choose which Minecraft you'd like to play uh, but before we click play something else I want to show you if we click project ozone we can get a, a list of the installed mods we can have an overview of what the mod packs about resource packs, none in there, maps. Uh, what we want to do is click this settings icon here. From here you can open up the folder. You can do profile options, duplicate profile, export profile, repair profile, delete profile, and submit crash report. We want profile options. Now this gives you the opportunity to change the memory. Some mod packs need more memory than standard. I think this mod pack probably run about good on six. The uh, Project Ozone 3 I'm playing at the moment really runs better on my machine if I put it up to about eight gig. So we set that to eight anyway. Here you can change which version of uh, the mod loader. I wouldn't change that for which one. Okay, and click OK. We can go back, click play, and the mod pack will start. Now, some of these mod packs take a long time to load. Um, on my computer, Project Ozone 3 takes about seven minutes to load. So don't worry if it takes its time. Just have to be a bit patient. And uh, don't panic. If uh, it looks like it's crashed, sometimes it does, but it still carries on loading. 
So I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you soon. Bye. It's not a game, sir.